In this video, we will be converting between metric units of measures of length, mass and capacity. Before continuing, make sure you know the following facts. You need to know that one centimetre is 10 millimetres, one metre is 100 centimetres, one kilometre is 1000 metres, one kilogram is 1000 grams, and one litre is 1000 millilitres. Let's have a look at question A. We know one centimetre is 10 millimetres. We need to write four centimetres in millimetres. Now, you can probably work this out mentally, but just to be clear, there are two ways you can think about this problem. Here's one way. Working across, we see that we need to multiply by 10. So we get an answer here of 4 times 10, which is 40 millimetres. Here is a different way of thinking about it. We could work downwards. 4 centimetres is 4 lots of 1 centimetre. So our answer here must be 4 lots of 10 millimetres. And if you do 10 times 4, you get 40. We get the same answer we got before. Now, if you ever get stuck, it might help you to draw a diagram like this. You can then choose whether you want to work across, like we did a moment ago, or whether you work downwards, like we've just done here. Of course, you might find this very easy and that you can do these in your heads, which is also absolutely fine. I'm just going to note down the answer to A, that's 40 millimetres. Pause the video and have a go at questions B and C for yourself. Here's what you should have got. One metre is 100 centimetres. 12 metres will be 1,200 centimetres. If you were working across, you should have worked out 12 times 100. If you were working downwards, you should have worked out 100 times 12. Either way, you get 1,200 centimetres. For question C, you should have got an answer of 5,000 metres. Now let's have a look at question D. We need to take care with this one. We need to convert metres into millimetres. Now, if one metre is 100 centimetres and each of those 100 centimetres is worth 10 millimetres, then one metre is 1,000 millimetres. To find 3.4 metres, we can either work across by multiplying by 1,000, which will give us 3,400 millimetres, or we could work downwards and calculate 1,000 times 3.4 to get the same answer. Pause the video and have a go at question E. The answer you should have got is 12,000 grams. Here are some more questions. Pause the video and have a go at question F for yourself. Here's what you should have got. 5.34 litres is 5,340 millilitres. Now, let's have a look at question G. We want to convert 57 millimetres into centimetres. Now, if we start with our basic bit of knowledge, that one centimetre is 10 millimetres, this time what we want to do is convert millimetres into centimetres. So we have 57 millimetres over here, and we need to work out how many centimetres that is. Now, this time it's probably easier to work across than work down. Going from 10 to 57 might not be obvious to you straight away, but it should be obvious that to go from 10 
to 1, what we're doing is dividing by 10. We divide that value by 10 to get the number of centimetres that's equivalent to 10 millimetres. So we know 10 millimetres is 1 centimetre and we need to divide this number by 10 to get here. Then we also need to divide 57 by 10. 57 divided by 10 is 5.7. So 57 millimetres is 5.7 centimetres. Pause the video and have a go at the remaining three questions. Here are the answers you should have got. Pause the video and check your work.